All right then guys, how's it going? JT Judgment here and welcome back guys to another Team of the Season player review and today we've got a pretty big review. We have got one of the higher rated players from the Barclays Premier League Team of the Season. We have Chelsea's Spaniard, 93 rated Diego Costa. Now before I want to get into this review guys, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to the person that was kind enough to let me use his account to do this review. He did manage to let me use a couple of BPL Team of the Season players guys so you can expect those in the next few days. Please check the link in the description down below it'll take you to his account the owner of this account um, and if you said a massive thank you from me guys that would be absolutely awesome Going through Costa's in-game stats, guys, for a 93-rated team of the season striker, they are pretty good. 99 attack positioning, 98 strength, 96 aggression, 95 reactions, 99 finishing, 94 shot power, 92 ball control, as well as 92 dribbling, those being the standout stats. His card face stats are pretty decent as well. 89 pace and dribbling, 96 shooting, 95 physical, 50 defending, and 75 passing. So his card, guys, when it comes to stats, looks absolutely crazy but does do those stats reflect how he plays in game is this boy worth the coins and is he worth buying for your team well let me get into the positives and negatives that i did find with this card guys going into the weaknesses that i did find there's only two that i need to mention first off being his passing he's not the sort of striker guys that i would recommend for passing he gave the ball away on many occasions for me when all i had to do was pass to the guy who's right next to me you know he would give it away straight to the either the goalkeeper or the defenders and it was just horrible guys so passing for me with the team of the season Diego Costa was a bit of a disappointment the other weakness that I need to mention is by far the biggest weakness well it is it's the biggest weakness because it's the only other weakness you know what I mean but it, it really did affect how he plays in game that's that's the point I'm trying to get across and that is his stamina now I was going into the games at the start of the games um, and I was pretty much owning with the card you know he was he was always fast his dribbling was insane very very, very, very good dribbling. Um, instant, I would say, guys. His shooting would be ridiculous. He would always be in the position. But then I was noticing, let's say about from half-time to full-time, the second half of the games that I did play, he would really, really underperform for me, you know? His pace would start um, backing off. His dribbling wouldn't be as good. His shooting would be very inconsistent. His physical area of the game wouldn't be very, very good either. He would be muscling off the ball very, very easily. So I've got to say, guys, his stamina, if there's a player in Ultimate Team that stamina affects the most then i would say it's the team of the season diego costa guys keep that in mind if you are thinking of buying him yourself but going into the positives that i did find with this team of the season diego costa guys i gotta say his pace is pretty decent pace wise you won't have a problem 89 i felt what 89 should feel like with this card his dribbling and ball control for me was pretty awesome as well 89 dribbling on the card and i felt that you know just moving the left trigger in and out uh, left stick sorry guys not left trigger um just in and out of defenses was very very fun to do very very easy to do with the team of the season Diego Costa his positioning for me was absolutely insane he's got 99 attack positioning guys and he's got high attack and work rate medium defensive but I didn't feel that medium defensive at all you know he was always making runs for me he was always in the striker position ready to make the run ready to slot the ball into the back of the net for me and I loved him for it guys you know it was one of the main reasons why I loved this card he was always there you know exactly what you want your strikers to do you guys will have no problems whatsoever with that strength wise was a bit of an iffy sort of area i mean he was okay but he was nowhere near as good as what i would expect from 95 you know he was getting bullied off the ball by a lot of defenders that he should have kept the ball from you know from 95 physical i personally would have expected a lot better but don't get me wrong guys he is still a pretty strong striker when it comes to his weak foot guys he's got four star weak foot i do believe and three star skills so skillers i guess will probably not enjoy using him as much um as me me personally Personally, guys when I use my strikers as long as they've got three star then I am more than happy to use them but if you have to have four star skills in your strikers then this is something that you need to consider buying because you can't use all those fancy skills you know and his weak foot for me it was pretty decent you know finishing inside the box I had no problems with and to my recollection thinking back to the games that I did play he did manage to challenge keepers on occasion from a distance with his weak foot unfortunately they didn't hit the back of the net guys but he did challenge the goalkeepers making them pull off some fantastic saves his aerial ability for me was pretty awesome as well he was willing the ball all the time in the air for me and by far guys one of the best aspects of this card in my opinion is his shot you will see 
Guys, you will see in the goals, he scored me some fantastic goals. You will be able to score some fantastic goals as well. Now, do I think he is worth it? I have got to say... Yes, I mean, when I borrowed him, when I borrowed the account to use this card, he was worth about 500,000 coins. By the time you're watching this review, his price may have changed a little bit. i got to be honest, guys, it did take me a few games to get used to this card because when it comes to Diego Costa and Ultimate Team, I've never really enjoyed using him, you know? I've, used, I've heard nothing but good things about his cards in this game, but when I use him myself, he never really performs for me. But when I started using this guy... Uh, the team of the season version the more i used him the more i loved using him basically guys i think he's an absolutely fantastic striker if you give him a chance guys that's going to wrap things up i've given him a 9.8 out of 10 the boy was absolutely crazy for me if you've got the coins then he is definitely somebody that i would consider buying in my opinion guys that's going to wrap things up on the team of the season diego costa if you did enjoy please leave a like on this video it really really does help the channel out guys all the support on these reviews is greatly appreciated subscribe today for more team of the season reviews to come very soon and as always from me guys please take care and i will see you all next time ta guys